If you can only understand what I know, it's much more advanced than what you know. And I don't believe anything about a quarter of what I hear and half what I see. I never saw a flying saucer in my life. Well, why shouldn't I believe in them? You think millions and millions of people letting have been abducted are telling false stories like that just to make some money off of YouTube? Do you really think that? Just so they can get a little money for making a video on YouTube? I won't get paid anything to make this video for you. YouTube's going to make a lot of money. They're going to have more money to go out and have their weekly party on my behalf. To go out to a nice famous restaurant or pay the bar bill. Oh, well, someday my money chokes them, people. Evil people at YouTube. But they do give me free uh, karaoke. The sync that charged me 112 hours for one year. And uh, they don't have the music anymore that YouTube has. YouTube has more music in it. Katy Perry used to be in uh, Sync Snap. She left. She took all her songs off there too with her. Sync Snap can't give you one song from Katy Perry. And so uh, did the Beach Age. My, one of my favorite bands. They, took, I, they left Sync Snap and went to YouTube. I guess YouTube was paying more money then they made over a sync snap. Why else would they do that? Follow the money, people. Follow the money. And you can understand why people do such things as they do them. If you just follow the money. That's all you have to do. Where did that money go to? How did that uh, owner of the World Trade Center get four and a half billion dollar check? He knew everything was coming there. What kind of person is he who uh, had those people, all the people dying? And then make a fake uh, holocaust grin. It wasn't real. Where is the plane that hit the Pentagon? That wasn't real. That was another holocaust film, people. They even used a holocaust to show you part of the moon landing. It was fake. It's a Hollywood movie. <laughs> You people think I'm kind of crazy and stupid for even watching those stories. A lot of that's true. There's another reason too for 911. That's to get that oil in Iraq. And to stop that, Hussein was saying, had the audacity to print his own money. The rich people didn't like that. Uh, people of the world, I'm telling you. They didn't like that at all. They had to get rid of him. They don't want nobody printing money, but the U.S. dollar is the only thing they want being printed. And printing all money that they don't have, now we're eight, like $18 trillion in a hole. They want a distraction from, from the people worrying about that. Where do they spend the $2.3 trillion dollars on? Where, where did that money go to? They want people to uh, create something to distract you from that. It's and they wanted the oil in Iraq. Why do you think they wanted to make, and make sure, tell everybody they have uh, biological weapons? They're called terrorist problems and kill everybody in the world with those bacteria uh, weapons they had. They don't have any of that. That was just a lie. They had an excuse to go over there and fight because they wanted to get that oil. The rich people wanted that oil from that country. My mother, Shia, Why do you think we were in Afghanistan? What is over there is so important. Russia spent all those years fighting over there. They couldn't win nothing. We spent all those years over there fighting. We're never going to leave Afghanistan. They have a money-making machine over there called poppy. Poppy flowers that don't grow anywhere else. And what's good is those poppy flowers? They can make cocaine out of that, people, and sell to rich people in this country. It makes the war money. That's the reason you're over there. Not because those people are in danger to the rest of society. Not because they're any uh, government like the United States. They're over there to make money. Follow the money, people. Listen, wake up before it's too late in your whole life. You're going to drop that in your grave. 
before you know anything. But lies that you fought with the truth. The United States doesn't want to tell you that they're, they, they think that we'll be too lazy to go to work and keep, stop the money flow. They treat us like, like little babies. Are you a little baby? Will you quit going to work because you found out there was really aliens? Would you? <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going to get going, people. You know, I wish you the best of luck. But just listen to three words. I'll say it one more time, and I won't bother you ever again. Follow the money. All right, goodbye. Nice. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Keep me company. Pretty soon I'll have to live all by myself. Let's get my son to come over here and live with me in Florida. He's not working in a particular job over there anyway. He can start his own business over here. He don't have to work for anybody. My son's the kind of person that can't get along with his boss. He gets laid off or fired, as you call it, a lot of times. He got fired when I went over to visit him when him and his wife went to Mexico City. First day he'd come back. I said, why are you putting all that stuff on the patio? That's why I was going out for a smoke. Then he told me, uh, I lost a job. He said, I take out all his work equipment to put it on the patio. Which probably has enough room for a chair there for me to sit outside for a smoke. Of course, now I don't know. Last time I visited him, I didn't have to worry about that because I quit smoking. The May, after uh, the April uh, visit to the hospital in Orchard Park. Uh, yeah. I went and visited him in May and visited my daughter in June. When the weather gets nice around Chicago. June is a nice month in Chicago. May is a little bit chilly because the winds off the Lake Michigan blowing their cold. It's hard to animate, it gets nice out. In uh, September, it starts getting pretty nice in October. Remember that three months out of the year, you get some halfway decent weather around Chicago. Rest of the time, these are too hot. In July and August, it's sticky too, very lots of humidity. Coming up, blowing up from the Gulf of Mexico up to towards Chicago. And uh, the rest of the time, it's too damn cold. Well, we had 55 below windshield just a few days ago in Chicago. One time I was living in Wisconsin, which is about 10 miles north of Waukegan, just across the border, um, back in around the middle 80s, around 83, 84. We had a windshield that was 66 below zero. That's not the temperature outside, people. That's the wind combined with the cold weather to make your skin feel like it's 66 below zero. Windshield factor. Maybe uh, some of the stories that are on YouTube now are true. Maybe the Ice Age can come back. And the only way you can survive it is to pick a home around the equator. Maybe that's why homes are going up so fast here in price. Most of the time, in the, especially a house I bought in Wild Kingdom. Um, um, I sold there and went to live in that beautiful house with a view of the pond and the countryside out the back patio door from the family room. The, uh, people complain. Uh, some of the houses they built, the 100 house division, new division by the new people, uh, didn't come out very good. They made some mistakes. And so the people who were in my village or in Wisconsin, they decided to sue the owner. And uh, he already built a water tower, which was supposed to be for seven, eight hundred people. And to have uh, more building going on later on in the year. He built an expensive water tower, delivers that. Of course, it's a very hard water. You have to get a water softener. Or don't be afraid to use a cleanser on the sink and the toilet. Uh, every few days from the hard water deposits. But the water was good tasting though. Um, but it was built for a thousand people. It wasn't built for a hundred. So how we had to pay the difference? We did. We had to pay extra money to pay for water because there was only a hundred of us. And uh, a few of those were complaining. 
So the people in my village decided to help him and sued the owner and ran him out of business. And you know what happened after that? We bought the house in um, 77, 76, no, and moved out of 86. The pricing, uh, nobody wanted to buy there. They gave Kenosha, which is a big city on the south border of Wisconsin, they gave a very bad impression of that area. And people were having trouble selling their houses. They couldn't even give them away because of that bad name. Because they wanted the owner built one or two bad houses. It got bankrupt. They got we had went out of business because of the people who my neighbors trying to help out those poor people. And they were cutting their own throats. But the real estate in Kenosha gave us a bad name. Our houses weren't going up at all. Not one penny. And every year in Illinois, where I came from, they were going up like five, ten thousand dollars a year. Just some inflation. So, uh, we paid like uh, 38, 39 for that house. And uh, 86, we had to sell for 84, I mean, uh, not 80, uh, 44,000. Which included me paying three or four thousand dollars because he was about to help him get a loan to pay for my house. That's what happens when you sell to a vet. Vet meaning veterinarian. He was in the armed services. He was military. So what? He made two thousand dollars in ten years over the house. We went back to Illinois. The price was like fifty, sixty thousand on most houses is to buy. That was an expensive trip to Wisconsin. <laughs> you don't know these people. I've been around the block a couple of times. You gotta be careful what you do with houses. It's location. Location is a very big factor. If your house, your uh, building that you're buying is gonna go up in value, or go remain the same, or go lower in value. It's location, people. It really makes a big difference. I lost thousands of dollars moving to Wisconsin. Off of that beautiful scenery to look out the back window. It wasn't worth the money, people. I had two kids and a wife, two ladies to keep a job, and she did have to go to work. She'd be bitching about it every night until you let her quit. That's good. how good my second wife was. She felt a mental crazy part. She needs psychiatric care coming out of my paycheck. Now I got a wife who wants to get her last penny out of my marriage from eating me after giving her thousands and thousands of dollars, bringing her kids over to her from the Philippines where they couldn't even find a job because there's so many of them. Only the good looking Filipinos get jobs in there. And the, fancy clothing stores and stuff like that, department stores they have in the malls. They just hired the good looking people. Why shouldn't they? They have their choice. They take the best that they can find. <laughs> you people don't understand that, do you? That's what companies do. It's the same reason uh, um, Helen she tried to apply for nursing in Lake County, uh, where I'm from, Waukegan. Lake County is a county. Uh, Waukegan is a city in that county. Uh, she applied for nursing. But there's only 100 openings a year in Lake County for nurses. And there's 10,000 applicants for people who want to be a nurse. Why? Because it pays good, people. Pay, nursing pays pretty good money. So they only take the best. Why shouldn't they? They take the smartest ones that they can find. It's only fair. Well, I was my, my wife dismissed that. Then I realized you only had a 96, 97. You had to be like 98, 99, 100 to get be one of those 100 people only that they accepted in the nursing position. That's why she had to change her career over to uh, education. 
she wasn't smart enough to be a nurse. You have to be smarter than that. Not, no, middle 90s people, they want upper 90s people. Why? Because they could do it. Because there's only 100 jobs. They don't need to take, pick out the best, the smartest ones. And they have to be capable of being a nurse too. They can't have any own problems. Other problems that would not make him a good nurse. They go by that too. Anyway, I'm, um, I'm sorry I can't find a woman uh, that will treat me nice and we, even when I don't have any money left. But I guess it, that's impossible to find. Women uh, are nice looking. There's some real beautiful ones out there with figures that uh, you make you wish you were young at you. Um, and take advantage of that. God made us that way. Otherwise, how can we reproduce? Well, I bored you enough. Thanks for listening to me. And I gotta say farewell. Have a good evening. Maybe I'll go out Monday night. My karaoke bar is still remodeling. I don't know, I'll probably be home till Tuesday night before I go out again. Anyway, uh, thanks for listening and uh, bye to all your fans. And you're the best fans in the world. You get the best compliments. And uh, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have no reason to live. Because now I can't even get sex with my wife anymore. All I have for happiness is you people and my karaoke bars, where the people love my singing. Anyway, uh, well, at least now I'm stuck in a nursing home where you only get this and your children maybe once every three months. They just come in because they feel guilty. At least I'm better off than them people. Now, won't be later on though. What a way of life to end. Um, goodbye people, hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>